I think um, the microphone is good, sound is good, everybody? Yeah! yeah. Great. Um, I'll introduce myself. I'm Jules. All good at the back. All right. Let's go. Okay. Because Sleepwave is a revolutionary new app that features motion sensing technology to track your sleep and wake you up feeling fresh. But this isn't my first app. Well, my journey as an app developer began more than 10 years ago. It was a cold December night and I had fallen into a happy sleep when suddenly I get an elbow into my ribs and I'm woken up by my wife Vanessa telling me that the sound of my snoring was terrible. And like many husbands or partners similarly told, I, my first response was denial. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't believe her, and so I did the natural thing and searched for an app. Surely I thought there is an app for that. But this was very early in the app store, and amazingly, there wasn't a good app to help in my situation. And I had an idea, an app to record and measure snoring. And I knew that this was a really good idea. The only problem was, well, there was a few problems actually, that I didn't know anything about app development. Um, I'd never written any code, and I'd studied economics at university, um, but we had some savings. And so, and so I said to Vanessa, I've got this great idea, I know it's good. Let's use our savings and pay a developer to build this app. And Vanessa said, don't touch our savings. <laughs> the only money I'm gonna let you spend is to buy a laptop. You can do it yourself. <laughs> um, yeah, I believe in you. You know, it'll be a nice hobby for you she said, and this was the best advice anybody could have given me because I discovered an incredible world of, of resource, of information, and, and uh, yeah, I discovered, and I found something that I loved and something that I was good at. And like amazingly, over the course of, of 10 months, I managed to build myself the first version of Snorlab. And to date, this is what it looks like now. That's what it looked like then. It's had more than 12 million downloads. It's helped millions of people in that situation. And it is the foundation of everything that has happened since and everything that you're going to see tonight. Uh, but despite this, I knew that there was more to do. And I was aware of some really exciting research which had been done in America where a research student claimed, and I was a bit skeptical actually, that, um, it, that they had played high frequency sounds from an ordinary phone and used it to detect breathing. Um, and I knew that this, if it was true, it would be really game changing for an app like Snorlab. Um, so in 2019, I began to look into it myself. And there was already a couple of apps which had explored this, but like the research, they used high frequency chirping tones, which is quite a common, uh, is, is a technique, and, and the frequency rapidly changes. It's high frequency sounds that go, zhu, 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 zhu. and even though you couldn't hear it, you could feel it in the air, and it feels, 
it didn't. <laughs> and it, it, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't feel good. Um, and I couldn't even sleep with this thing next to um, my bed. But I wondered, like, is there a way to do this? Because if that is true, and if this is possible, you know, it's really, really great. And so we tried something else, and that was to play a pure tone. So instead of zipping around, it was just a constant tone, like D, but much, much higher above our hearing range. And this had massive advantage where it was less audible because our brains don't really notice things which don't move around. They're constant, they get filtered out. But I was also looking at the frequency spectrum and I had an idea. And that was if we finally tuned the frequency of the tone to some very specific numbers, we would be able to detect more information. And it was a hunch and we tried it and we saw so, and, and, and it set off just a world of discovery and exploration um, because we realized that there was a lot which could be done with this. And this is a demonstration of what is possible. I know from experience that people don't really understand what they're seeing here because it doesn't make sense, really, at first. What's actually happening here is that the, one of the speakers of a phone is playing a high frequency sound above our hearing range. And as my hand moves, as our hand moves, it reflects sound back to the microphone. And we can actually use this to detect movement. And it's very, very sensitive. Um, but one of the things we struggled a little bit with this is how to describe it. So we've, we've gone through like silent sound waves, but that's kind of a contradiction. How can sound be silent? You know, is it sound or isn't it sound? And Sound is actually vibrating air, and it's air vibrations that we can hear. Whereas this is air vibrations that we can't hear. And so this is, and actually what is happening is we are using the speaker to vibrate the air. And movements near the phone change the pattern of vibrations, and that is how we can detect movement. And this is a big deal. Because what we have discovered is that contactless motion sensing is possible on just about every smartphone in the world using the speaker and the microphone, ordinary, the hardware, which is already there. It's a whole new sense for phones. So this is motion sensing using air vibration, which is really how it's working. But just how accurate is this, what is this capable of? So we've got this little demonstration here. So it can actually measure, uh, sorry, it can measure um, towards these are directions, this is a ruler, and it can actually very accurately measure movements near the phone. So we can just watch that for a minute. But this is obviously pretty, pretty close. And this is using inaudible sound waves or air vibrations from an ordinary iPhone. Um, so this wasn't what we set out to create. We looked into motion detection for sleep. And this is what we discovered. This was never in the plan. But this is what happens when you explore an idea and you know, you're creative and inventive and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And has lots of applications. Um, so yeah, I mean, so we're looking at ways to use it just as a relaxation tool. You know, it's a whole new way to interact with phones uh, in a way which is you know calming and, and beautiful. Like we're making shapes move. You don't have to scroll. It's just responding to, to movement. Um, so yeah, just trying to make something really beautiful um, and yeah, really nice. Um, and this right, is a major advance in smartphone technology. I mean, it, it feels like weird to be in this room in Shoreditch hearing 
this because we don't expect these things to happen. We expect this stuff to come out in Cupertino and San Francisco and things, but this major advance in smartphone technology capabilities has not been made by Apple. It's not been made by Google. It's been made by a small independent company here in London. And yeah, we're kind of proud of that as well. Yeah. All right. This is, you're at the party of an app called Sleepwave. <laughs> and what on earth has this got to do with sleep? And that's a very valid question. And it turns out a lot. It's got a lot to do with sleep because the key to accurate sleep tracking is understanding movement. And using this technology, you can put your phone beside your bed and it can detect your movement. It can detect your sleep stage. It can detect your wakefulness. It can even detect your breathing. And, and this is possible, again, from an ordinary smartphone next to your bed. You don't need to wear a watch or buy anything extra. This is sleep tracking available on ordinary phones and to a level which is far beyond anything which has been done before, again, from a standalone app. And just how accurate and what are the capabilities of this? Well, um, so this is a chart. So this is eight hours of sleep uh, of me. And this is, I've worn my Apple Watch. And, and it, it will give you like a breathing rate estimate about once every 10 minutes. And of course, they've got amazing deep learning algorithms to estimate your sleep stage and this. But this is some of the underlying data from the Apple Watch. And this is from Sleepwave. A phone next to the bed. This is my breathing, my breathing rate, detected from chest movements, from a phone next to my bed. Um, and so we can see sometimes the breathing is kind of slower and more clustered. That is like deeper sleep and where it becomes faster. So this is faster breathing, faster and more scattered, more irregular. That's actually REM and like dreaming. Um, so we can actually use this technology to detect sleep phases. And, oh yeah, and actually the correlation with Apple's data, which is pretty much a gold standard when it comes to consumer sleep tracking devices, is more than 0.8, which for all the statisticians in the room is a very good correlation. And this has huge applications, you know, to be able to detect breathing with such accuracy from a phone next to your bed is very, very significant. And it's not even the main thing we're going to talk about today because there is so much. Really, we're going to be going more into that in the future. Um, but this is the foundation of our sleep phase estimates, which again, I think are uh, better than anything you'll find on another standalone app. It, this is a like, next level accuracy for, for smartphone sleep tracking. Yeah, but we're gonna be doing a lot more of that in the future, but we knew that there was a big problem that this technology could solve today. And that is that most people hate waking up. Um, like who here today found it difficult to get up this morning? Right. <laughs> There's a lot of hands for anyone watching. There's a lot of hands. Um, like, you're not alone. This is a big, big problem. And um, we actually did a survey and found that 62% of people feel groggy or tired in the morning. And 47% of people dislike their alarm. And this is a problem that we can do so much to help because the, the truth is that Fixed times alarm, alarm which sounds at seven o'clock in the morning, it can just be a bad moment for our brains. And, and the difference between a great wake up and a bad wake up is just, can just be a matter of a few minutes. And so Sleepwave is a smart alarm that is in sync with your body. And so rather than setting a fixed alarm like seven, you give it a window of time, seven to 7.15. It detects your movements and will wake you up at a great moment. And 
this really, really works. And like we did a survey um, of pre-release even, and 78% of people said they, their wake up was better with, with SleepWave. And this really, really works. It just makes a difference to your energy, a difference to your day. And um, yeah, yeah, it's very, very cool. Um, but not only did we want it to work amazingly, we also wanted it to look and sound amazing um, to match the technology. And so we have worked with world-renowned artists to make incredible artwork and original musical compositions to create an immersive, wonderful experience that is Sleepwave. Um, and like the response we've had in a few months is just incredible. I've uh, been flooding with, flooded by five star reviews. These are some, some quotes, you know, absolutely love it. Super gentle wake up, total game changer. Love this app, the best sleep app out there. You did one. Sorley, Sorley did one review, totally genuine as well. Thank you, Saul. Thank you, Saul. Saul did a review. And, um, <laughs> and <laughs> this, this one we got a few days ago, and it's from Pink Queen 11. I don't know who that is, but they, in words of Pink Queen 11, it is the best app ever. And that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So, uh, and we've also really care about philosophy. There's a lot of passion and love which has gone into this project. We are independent. We use technology for good, inspired by nature. We want to have a positive impact. Accurate data, we don't judge you. It's private, it's empowering. It's about listening to your body. Um, and but the one I'm going to talk about a little bit more right now is accessible. You know, we, this technology can, is really important. It can just help anyone start their day better, um, from teenagers to people who need to get up for, for, for work, um, anyone who uses an alarm clock, which basically is most people, can benefit from this technology. And that is why we are making the core smart alarm free forever. Um, and yeah. And, and that is something we really, really believe in, is having a real generous free tier that people can download the app and get a great usage from it. Um, of course, there are some amazing features that we do need to charge for, but that is how you know, we, we support the, the team and, and do more great work. Um, the team who have worked on this have been incredible. We're a small team, uh, but we have done so much with, you know, achieved so much over the last few years, and it's just been the most incredible, joyous journey. Um, yeah, so it's been wonderful. Um, and I'll just, you know, this has been, this project has been like magic from beginning to the end, from discovering this technology to making patterns to understanding sleep to making this app look and sound so beautiful. Um, it's been magic. And that is my closing wish for you all to enjoy the magic. Aww.